Right guys, so today we are going to unbox the Asus uh, G531GW uh, from uh, Republic of Gamers. Um, it's an i9 uh, with 32 gigabytes uh, RAM, uh, one terabyte solid uh, state drive, uh, and also a video memory card RTX uh, 2070, which has eight gigabytes. Um, also, it has 15 inches. Now the box is pretty much something standard for um, for them. What they do for the uh, rock streaks, you can actually carry carry it with you very very easy. It has this holder in here, and it's like pretty much going out with a briefcase. Now this is a very expensive one, anyway. <laughs> um, let's open it. Push this one here. And just. Open the, the box. Now inside the box is the laptop itself. As I was saying, uh, it's a 15 inch. Under the laptop, we're gonna have the other components. Let's go ahead and take it out very, very nice and slow. Let's see. Right, 15 inches is not too much of a big uh, of a laptop but you do have the advantage of being able to carry it with you like almost anywhere uh, also the advantage of uh, this uh, specific uh, laptop from republic of games is the fact that they have a 240 hertz uh, and also three milliseconds so for gamers this is uh, the uh, the laptop to go and also if you're doing like video editing and stuff like that will help you a lot now the keyboard itself is pretty neat and the design as you may see is quite uh, um, quite modern, um, I will say. You will see also that under the keyboards they have like an um, uh, LED uh, RGB um, uh, light, which is gonna be quite nice. Right, so in the box itself, uh, you're gonna find like three compartments. Uh, in here, you will be finding the first bit of the power source. Now this is the AC-DC adapter, um, it's a 20 watts one, the, the output. If you want to see all the specs, feel free to uh, just pause the video. Um, if you want to see all the specs uh, of the AC-DC adapter. Um, what I'm going to say is that this laptop is, is going to use quite some, quite some energy because uh, at the end it needs just the fact that it has an RTX 2070, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of power. See what we have in here. Looks like it's gonna be some sort of like a manual or something. Right. So what we have here, uh, it's a keystone. I think that's the name of it from Republic of Games. Now, what you do with this keystone, you personalize it, the actual keystone itself, and you can use it with any other. Um, uh, ROG laptop. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use it. So if you see in the right side it has a slot. Now this slot is for the keystone. Yeah. So this keystone you can insert it here. It has a nice magnetic grip. And what that's gonna happen is that when you're going to personalize the keystone itself um, all the settings of the laptop, such as, uh, 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 I don't know, the, the, the fan speed, um, the lights, uh, the, um, the keyboard and some, some other stuff are going to be saved here. And if you are going to remove it and go with this one to another laptop or somebody else is going to use your laptop, just by inserting here, that's going to load up all the information from the keystone into the computer. So it's like some sort of personalization. Me personally, I don't really see the need for this, but it might be something good for people that, you know, they are sharing laptops and stuff like that in the same household, which, you know, is, is something useful for gamers anyway. Let's put the keystone back. And this is like a keychain, I would say. So making sure you're not going to lose it. But yeah, interesting stuff and they are definitely targeting a small market in there for gamers. Right, so what we have here, it's an M2 to uh, SATA adapter. Let's take it out. This is the one, okay, and also for the HDD, um, we have some screws to hold it in place. Let's put this one back. Now, when we go to the third space, we have the other part of the ACDC adapter. 
and the way it's gonna be plugged in is like this you hold this one here just match it plug it plug this one in your socket and this one is gonna be in the monitor I'm gonna show you in a bit where that goes what else we have in here it's uh, a webcam the laptop itself does not have a camera so what these guys did they hooked it up with an external webcam the reason they did that is because some people they actually need it but most of the gamers they do not so in case you actually need it I still at least you have something that you can use so this is the webcam the resolution if i'm not mistaken is like 720 or something like that so it's not too bad i'm gonna have to plug in this uh, uh, cable just here and this one in one of the usb uh, sockets in um, in the laptop itself and also this is a holder now the way it works i'm going to show you in a bit you can extend this like this and then hold it yeah so the mechanism itself you push it like this first and then you drag it like this and you're just gonna have to insert it somewhere here depending on the way you actually wanna wanna have it fitted yeah you're gonna insert it right until the top and then the cable and it looks like this which is not too bad I will say also if you don't want to use this bit because as an example you can use it for like a tripod or something you can just use this side right so you can use this grip this bit and just lock it in place somewhere in here and that's how it's gonna work I mean again it's not the easiest thing to do but when, when you need it it's useful to have it and in these times so I would say having a webcam it's all right the good part about not having a webcam is the fact that the bezel in here it's quite quite uh, quite small if you can see so it, it was just for the sake of the design and making sure you're gonna have a better experience Right, so we have an Ethernet cable in here, an Ethernet cable connection. We have an HDMI connection over here, and here we have a USB-C connection. Now, with the USB-C connection, the good part is that you can either use it to just, I don't know, connect any USB-C device or any USB-C cable, but you can also use it with an extender, such as this one. If you are going to connect it to the USB-C, what this is gonna do is gonna allow you to connect a second monitor. Actually, it's gonna be a third one. So if you are, if also if you wanna use it for like work purposes and stuff like that, think about the fact that you'll be able to use the display itself, right? So you can use the display itself. You can use the HDMI, and also you can use uh, any type of USB-C to HDMI or directly, you know, like an extender, which is quite uh, quite useful. Power cable goes here. There you have it. Let's see what we have on the other side. On this side we have three USB uh, slots and also we have uh, one for your headsets if you are still using headsets with a 3.5 jack. In this bit we have nothing, unfortunately. Um, it, I mean, to be honest with you, there is a chance that we'll have put more, but the only thing we have, we have the Keystone slot and that's about it. Let's turn it on. Oh, by the way, let me show you something when you turn it on. See this LED? I just love it. I mean, the way they brand it is just, honestly, it's, uh, it's brilliant. Now, since it's turned on, as I was saying before, uh, you have um, under the, uh, the keypad itself, you have an RGB LED. If you hold the FN key from the arrows, you can change the type of the lights on the keyboard. It has quite a few stuff, green and changing to the colors. You also have this one, which is like a nice slide. It's quite interesting. It's not something that's gonna definitely change your gaming experience, but it's something nice 
that you, you you can actually take advantage of and let's be honest when you're using the computer you know the laptop at night definitely helpful to have uh, the keys being uh, actually lighted from uh, somewhere right so um if you're going to keep this gnome link hold it for like three seconds this what's gonna happen is gonna become like a numpad the one that usually you find it on the right side of the keyboard as you can see on this keyboard we have the numpad in this side in this bit right but here if you actually need it they decided to put it in this area so if you need it you can use it like that i mean the chances of you not actually using a mouse are quite low given the fact that this is a gaming monitor so obviously you have to use a mouse a good one actually for for gaming uh, so if you're going to use it or not it's entirely up to you i hope you enjoyed the unboxing i am happy to say that there are not many 32 gigabytes out there on youtube or somewhere else to actually uh, be unboxed what i can tell you is that um, the laptop itself ha can definitely offer you a different um, uh, different ex gaming experience uh, the fact that it's powered by an um, rtx from nvidia helps a lot also um if you have a monitor you know that you want to use it as a second monitor and play on it which is going to be bigger as long as you're going to have the uh, nvidia g-sync that's going to work just perfect now feel free to leave us uh, your comments below um, any questions tips tricks anything about that if you want to have some sort of a review on how it actually works on how you can set it up for like work purposes or gaming purposes just let us know thanks so much for watching guys